Hi, my name is Rocky Ford. I'm an artist. I make painting and sculpture. Primarily, I work in acrylic and text. For the exhibition, I'm creating, I want to say, 12 foot by 12 foot dance floor. That will be in the center of the space that will have some text that is open for people to dance on. Hit it! My father was a music producer. He produced many different songs, but famous one would be uh, Curtis Blow, These Are the Breaks. But to me, he was just my dad. So my father was also a writer. Uh, he reviewed music. I like that correlation between my work and that about him. A lot of my work, too, references my family and ways some of the writing. But music is a big inspiration and in ways where like it kind of leads a narrative, maybe not so obviously. When starting to design a dance floor, I usually start from looking at my poetry or text that I write in my notebook or in my notes app and then edit there. And then from there I use drawings that I make through with ink that are the text to make files that I end up using to laser cut the work. It's kind of a tiled, usually tiled and um, almost like a large puzzle that I have to put together. The remnants that exist in my work are often the off cuts from laser cutting. The work, I save a lot of the pieces, the letters that are not used in maybe a work. I will use that, those letters and maybe future works or sculptures. I feel like that relates to this idea of remixing and taking something new visually from that, but also using the cut out letters to create a newer text or for another work and kind of using it almost like um, the letters as a way to create a new sentence. And then another thing that I'm interested in is kind of the relationship those different texts or writing have with each other and kind of new ways of using it and kind of thinking of these material forms of writing as like my various vocabulary. This past February, I did an exhibition in Chicago at Good Weather, and that was a dance floor that existed for 10 weeks and with um, programming. There were jazz performances and um, a couple of different um, kind of music performances and then also the dance party and having it up for 10 weeks and inviting kind of the community, art community of Chicago to interact with the work um, was really kind of a, an amazing opportunity. And so I'm curious what will happen with the brick exhibition. I like the idea that this is one that's designed for the space and then also it's gonna record what happens like during the different performances or how people interact with it. And so I think a lot about the space that the work is being made in, how that work will take up space and how the viewer will interact with it. And for this exhibition, there will be performances that will happen off the stage, but the viewers will be viewing it from the stage, which I'm kind of interested in as this kind of double stage standoff or something.